I'm going to put it. Probably not. Do you need an ice cream maker? No, thanks. This is just temporary. I'll have a place by the end of the week. Uh -huh. Something will come up. It always does. Well, in the meantime, I need you well rested and wearing clean uniforms. Oh, it is clean. I just not ironed. I had to wash it in the shower at the backpackers. Alice, I've been where you've been. But like I said, you need to get your act together. And soon. Absolutely. Sure you don't need an ice cream maker. <sighs> Mark, I... I know we've only known each other a short time, but can I move in with you? No luck talking Tony around. She hates my guts. So I told a few porkies, no big deal. Yeah, she has trust issues. Takes life too seriously, that girl. So, you up for a drink after work? Make up for last night? Uh, with the group, yes. Just you, no. I'm not that bad, am I? I think half the reason that Tanya's so angry at you is that she mistakenly thought that you were making a play for me. But you guys are history. Yeah, but isn't there like a girly rule never to date a friend's ex? <laughs> yeah, in high school. I mean, why limit your options? <laughs> Whatever, I'm just saying that might be a problem with Tanya. Okay. Thanks. So you want your girlfriend in the top job? Well, she's already in it. It's a matter of whether she's able to stay there or not. All that politics. I'll never be management. Well, who here loves it? Maybe she was bullied as a kid. No way, mate. That girl held her own from day one. Man, when are you going to nail that guy on the golf course? Well, when do you reckon I've got a good chance? You can do a reasonable big swing when Mr Angry steps back and lets Mr Zen out. Now get out, Mr Angry. Come in, Mr Zen. Time to give you the next secret. Breath control. Let it all go with the drive, not holding back a thing. I didn't respond to your email because I didn't have anything to tell you until this morning's meeting. Well, you were frogged off? Uh, basically, but it doesn't mean I'm we done. We need a consultant and nurses now. You need to get in there. Coffee with Zara, you know, lunch with Simpson before Central can get to it. No, Chris, I you know... You should look at using Hamish, too. He can tap into the uh, network of PAs, find the strongest selling point with their political masters. Yeah, I know how to lobby, but I'll do it my way. Softly, softly isn't going to cut it, who you are. Honestly, I know the culture, the DHB, the suckers for hardball. I'm happy with the way I'm playing it. When I read what that kid had done, I just felt sick. It makes you wonder what happens to turn kids like him into monsters. <gasps> I'm doing that to an old lady. They should lock him up for life. No parole. Well, it's cheaper. Well, if I could trust cops, lawyers and judges to get it right every time, I would be for the death penalty, and that kid would never hurt anyone again. Are you guys talking about that guy that said he got mugged? Yeah, we're just waiting on x-rays, and then he can go. And good riddance. You don't think someone like him can be rehabilitated? Well, shouldn't we try and fix someone like that? You know, give them a second chance? A car thief, you can rehabilitate. A psycho like that? Some people are just born bad. Mm -hmm. You really think that? Yeah. In the meantime, steer clear of him, OK? I don't want any of the female staff going anywhere near him. Mm. Uh -huh. So you're keen? Lawrence, you're a lifesaver. We'll all be very pleased to have you on board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You lobby Zara. I'll get on to Simpson about nursing support. Excellent. I'll see you then. <sighs> if you want something done well, do it yourself. Ian? Ian? Yvonne, in here. Ian! It's alright, don't panic. What happened? I fell on my good arm. Help me get up. I just put my hand under. Oh! Oh! I'm sorry. It's alright. I'm okay, don't fret. I'm fine. I'll call the doctor. No. We can do this ourselves. But you'll pop your stitches. I don't want anyone seeing me like this. But just take it slowly. Sorry, love. Your pride's going to have to take a hit. I'm calling Jock. What the, don't you dare call him. I'll be back in a minute. Hey, Mom. Get back here. Secret practice session, huh? 
Well, I wouldn't be where I am today without crumpled pathology reports. Well, that's good, because you are going to need all the help you can get. You know, there are computer golf games for people who never get anywhere on a real golf course. Oh, enjoy that smug feeling, Dr. Warner, because I'll be wiping off your face, say, this afternoon. I uh, should be able to make that meeting, say, 3.30. I roger that. Who are you? Uh, further to our earlier conversation, I have some rather good news. Oh, yes? Uh, the DHB called to say that they're ready to release one Dr. Lawrence Godfrey to our tender mercies. Lawrence? That's fantastic. What about his condition? Oh, he's totally fine. Whatever he had resolved spontaneously. Isn't that great? Uh, they're not only funding him, but an extra nurse per shift. Wow. What can I say? Well done. Absolutely. Well done. Terrific news. Isn't it? Uh, sometimes softly, softly does the trick. Hmm. Sometimes. We're very grateful, Dr. Fielding. Thank you. Not at all. Cheers, Ian. I'll call him tomorrow, OK? Thanks, Bye. Jack. No harm done, then? Shall I put the jug on? I suppose. We've both had a bit of a scare, but everything's fine now. Yeah, tickety-boo. I'm sorry I didn't hear you calling. Come here. I'm the one who's sorry. Here you are, leaving your job in the big city to help me out, and what do I do, spit the blooming dummy? Hard for you too. I've got to figure out what I can do and what I can't and work from there. You're the one doing the hard yards, picking up after me. Just until you get on your feet. Then I'll be your raging bull again. <laughs> <laughs> of course you will. I love you, Yvonne. That's how it's always been. You've been my life. Ian, there's something wrong. Can't a man tell his wife that he loves her? How about I do your favourite tonight? Roast lamb. Mm -hmm. Oh. I'll have to go to the shop and get a few things. I'll just stay here, have a bit of a rest. Eh? You don't need anything? No, thanks. Now you make sure you go to our butcher. None of that supermarket rubbish. All right, all right. <laughs> Sleep tight. 